Well, my advice would be that uh, because you cannot be precise with the forecasting of the future, so you need to run different scenarios of the future. So how you should adjust and change your supply chain to reflect the future business environment. So that would be my biggest advice. Run different scenarios, have figures out of that and see then uh, what would be the way for you for the future uh, to be reactive, how the business environment is changing. Then the other thing would be the, the, the simple ad advice, keep it simple. So start with the, with the short and easy steps uh, and then go bit by bit to, to, to the details and, and take it further. And then the third, third one would be the, um, take the stakeholders with you. So have the business management, take guys from the operations, from dif different parts of the organization, you should include people from there uh, to what, you're, you're, what kind of analysis you're making, how you're creating the model, how you're taking the data, what kind of outputs you're having. So you should have all those stakeholders uh, in the process, what you're doing. Technology is a big part of, of nowadays analytics and supply chain modeling and, and, and network analysis. So in the supply chain area, uh, Optalon has been helping Posti to take the first steps uh, when implementing the supply chain modeling technology and, and taking the first steps. So, and they are also able to advise us for the future, how we should take the next steps implementing machine learning, taking AI as part of our supply chain modeling and, and network analytics. Then we are also having other vendors, but at this point Optilon has really helped us to take the first steps and they are guiding us through this transformation. <laughs>